Hello, everybody, and happy 2021. I am really excited. I started doing this show where we do the top something of something. Um, I can't remember, actually, when I started doing that, but this year we are going to um, have the top 20 of 2020. Last year was the top 19 of 2019, so uh, yeah, it's it'll be a lot of fun. You should see I have a pile of products on my desk right now that you can't really see, but you will see them soon. But before we kick that off, I definitely want to draw your attention you know, that there's been so much talk about Bristol coming up and what a big event that is. And there's been a lot of concern from racers and just from the general public about the safety measures. A lot of questions. Um, of course, the Bristol came out with their newest safety regulations for that race. Um, I actually have them on my printer right over here. But before all of that, actually, I got together with Matt Henderson from CBR Race Cars, and we did a video where we talked about some safety items. Um, we actually shot this a couple weeks ago, but I didn't want it to get missed during the holidays, so it just went up today, actually. So it's over on the YouTube channel, as well as on the Facebook page on the on, for Crate Insider. So check that out, because we talk about... You know, he's, he's a racer who's always wanted to have the best of the best when it came to safety. And even there were times in his life where he thought he was doing the exact right thing and it turned out to not be the right thing or didn't necessarily work out. He's had multiple concussions. He's learned a lot from that. He had so much great advice to share. And so I would really love it. You know, feel free to share that video. Um, feel free to drop in any comments, you know, could let us know that it was helpful for you. Or if you have other questions on that, we are more than happy to step up and make sure that you've got access to that information. So safety, safety, safety. Um, and I don't know if I see much safety here today, but today we're going to talk about the top 20 products. But before then, um, I always do like to do a giveaway and I'll be doing a couple of them today. So um, I guess I'm going to just kind of go random today because like my sign, I didn't have top five Tuesday last week. So my last sign said Merry Christmas on it. Um, normally I talk about like what's on my sign. Well, I guess I should kind of move that so you guys can see this top 20 of 2020. There we go. Um, anyway, so don't worry about the sign in order to be a part of our competition here or contest just drop in a comment and at the end of this video we're going to use random number generator i've got alex helping me out in the office and he's going to pick a couple winners so one of those winners i happen to have a crate insider t-shirt right here um and i probably have the full range of sizes so this is going to be one and then i'm going to have a surprise giveaway once we get if you can stick it out through this whole video <laughs> through the through the whole show then at the end we will have another giveaway for you guys as well so with that i'm gonna say hi to some folks i see scott's here and johnny and cody and troy tommy jim lucas john mike so many of you guys are here alan and jim and chris and mike well thank you all for being here and i'm really honestly so excited about this show i look forward to it every single year so let's go ahead and kick it off and we're going to start off with number 20 and in the number 20 spot i have my kaiser beadlock wheel this one happens to be black um, I'm in love with, you'll see that there's a few of these products on this list today that are products that I'm just absolutely in love with. And this is one of them, especially, I particularly like the black centers. Um, but regardless, I mean, we have the polished, the polished aluminum as well. Clearly this is really light for me just to be kind of heaving this around. I love that it's a three piece wheel so that if you get a dent on one end of it, then you can just replace like the beadlock portion. And you've got the center section here, and then you've got the other bell on the other side, and it all goes together beautifully. So love my Kaiser wheels, and the Kaiser beadlock wheel runs 335. I don't know if that's the black one or the or the polished one off the top of my head, but at least that gives you a which which one is it? It's the black one. Okay, so it runs 335. I think I I do need to update the website because we were running low on those. I just got another pallet in, so I'll get that updated for sure. All right, next up in the number 19 spot today. Looks like I'm going to need a knife to uh, to cut open something. Do you have a knife over there? Oh, uh, no. Oh, I do. Okay, I got a knife. All right. I'm always not too far from a knife. You know, you just never know when you need to slice a box open. So in the number 19 spot today is from our friends at LSM Racing Products, 
soon as I get this open, what did I do? Like slice this without actually, no, I got it. Okay, great. All right. You know, I'm sure you all want it. Why is this box hard to open today? I swear to God, this is not my first day. Okay. All right. I guess this just happened to be one that was super tucked in there. All right, there we go. Well, you know, your products are secure. That's the good part. But in the number 19 spot today is our valve spring changer from LSM Racing Products. Love working with the folks at LSM. Uh, we've been working together for several years. In fact, one of the very first videos that we published for Crate Insider was valve lash, you know, adjusting valve lash. And not far behind it was our how to change valve springs on a, on a crate engine. And of course, this is the tool we were using. It's, and when I look back at that video, I'm like, wow, it was terrible quality. One of the first. And if you start making videos, you're gonna find those first ones, they kind of suck. It is what it is. But to this day, it's still one of our most popular videos over on YouTube. I know that it's helped a lot of people and that's the most important part. But the valve spring changer, and we sell it with the insert that is actually meant for the rod bolts for um, for, a crate in, for a crate engine and makes it easier. And this setup runs 218.98. So that's our valve spring changer in the 19 spot. Next up in the number 18 spot this year is from our friends over at DRP Performance. Love working with Lenny. I've got a, actually another video I need to shoot with one of his products, but the in the number 18 spot is our whole bearing kit here. So it's got the bearing spacer and a bearing and a seal in here. And this whole kit, I'm so sorry. Um, I should have put my phone on do not disturb and we turn off my iPad sound, I apologize. So um, here's, this is the 10500K kit and this runs 137.85. You know, one of the tricks about having a crate engine, we've got what we've got when it comes to horsepower. So we're trying to find every little bit of gain that we can find along the way. And anytime we can free up our car and we can, we can take out any bit of drag, well, that's where it's gonna benefit us. And these bearing spacers, this happens to be set up for a wide five, but bearing spacers are a great part of that to make it so your car rolls more freely and takes out some of that bind. It's definitely strongly recommended. And if I didn't mention it, this kit runs 137.85 per wheel. And then um, I, it's got the bearings. I think you have to buy the races separately and then you'd have a whole, whole wheel kit there. All right, next up in the number 17 spot, I'm glad I pulled out my knife because I'm gonna need it again. And I, I didn't pick out a specific one here, but in the number 17 spot is our FK rod end. Now, we do sell these individually, but one of our favorite ways to sell them is when you need them for a whole car, then we've got a whole kit that we've got put together. But here's our FK rod ends. Um, this is the CMX series, and they are, I mean, they're just a great piece. Uh, always high quality, uh, American made, you know, you can feel really good about that. So the FK rod ends, and they vary in price, but this one happens to be the kit for a rocket chassis. And this whole kit here, which is, I think it's like 25 or 27 pieces, it runs 407.76. So you'd have all of the all of the rod ends and, and pieces here that you would need for a rocket chassis. We actually have these kits for a rocket, we have them for a Longhorn, and we have them for a Barry Wright. So those are the three chassis kits that we, that we have. And of course, if, if you've got a request, we could certainly get together with another manufacturer or another chassis manufacturer to get a kit that's all, you know, all set up for that particular chassis. Happy to do it. Excellent, and yes, yeah, so I told you all of that. All right, that was number 17. In the number 16 spot, got a pile over here, is from Dominator, and that is our cold air box. Now, if you're someone who loves fabricating, I, I don't actually know that many people who love fabricating. If you do, great, you can make your own cold air box. But for everybody else, then this is a great way to start. So it comes with a gasket, and this gasket goes over the top of, the, of where your air filter would be. You set the cold air box on top, and this creates a beautiful seal. So this silicon basket, or gasket, it comes with the cold air box. And then the way this works is you set that on there, and in order to get it, you'll be able, you'll cut this down is what you're gonna end up doing is cutting this down and just put your hood in sideways. You'll be able to mark a chalk line, figure out where you need to cut it. And this is 
This is a plastic that's strong, but yet it's pliable and flexible so that you can easily cut it and you don't have to worry about it like shredding, you know, where other plastic can be brittle and be difficult to cut. This was meant to be cut so you can really customize it for your application. And it's so much faster to be able to just modify our Dominator cold air box than it is to make one from scratch. And of course, the big benefit there is anytime you can separate your air filter from that engine heat and you're getting that fresh, colder air into your, into your carburetor, into your whole system, you're gonna make more power. That's what we're trying to do. And as a kind of a bonus benefit, you know, a lot of times where the dust really gets kicked up is like when you're in the pits and you're just kind of idling or, you know, you're, you're not really idling, you know, maybe you're moving, but it's kicking up that dirt and dust and that can come up through your engine compartment into your air filter. Well, if it's blocked off with a cold air box, you're keeping that dust and dirt out of your air filter and making, the, making it a lot easier for your, for your car. So I love that. And the cold air box, great price, runs $69. All right, next up, that was number 16. Next up is the number 15 spot is our race fan. Um, this one happens to be our three blade 17-inch uh, fan, but race fans now come in 15-inch and 17-inch and in 19-inch. And it's super simple. It's kind of fun to do the little sort of a demo here. And you just pop the blades in like this, and then you'll affix them with some bolts. Um, you can order it with the bolts. Oops, all right. Well, that's why you need bolts so that they don't fall off of the hub. And there, <laughs> you can run this, you can see you can move those blades around. You can run this as a two blade fan, a three blade fan, a four blade. You can even go up to six blades, although that's completely unnecessary for um, what we need in, in crates. Uh, I don't know of anybody who needs a six blade fan, um, but the threes and the fours are very, very popular. A lot of people buy the four blade fan and they plan to run it as a three blade and then you've got a spare blade just you know for for whatever might happen but love our race fans and regardless if you want the 15 17 or 19 the prices are the same whether you're going a two blade three blade four blade so with the three blade version it runs 217.50 is what that runs for a three blade and like i said you can pick the the diameter of the fan and the price is going to say the same this depends just depends on how many blades you're getting that's the most important part all right, next up in the number 14 spot, we're moving kind of quick here, and that is going to be our matched Beehive valve springs. And the Beehives, of course, are meant for the 604s and the 525s, and we match them. We go through, we'll, we'll take all these out of, we take GM valve springs. These are legitimate, genuine GM valve springs. There's nothing cheater about them. We take them all out of the packaging, we rate them spring by spring, and we get rid of any bad ones, and then we match together like pressures to make sure that you can get the most accurate, most match set possible, and that's what's most important. So the match sets of Beehive valve springs, they run 179. It just takes some of that work out of it for you. Um, you know that you're getting a high quality product, you know, as quality as we can make it, and you're not gonna have an errant spring that shouldn't be in your engine. We're gonna make sure that that doesn't happen. So the Match V5 valve springs in the number 14 spot. All right, next up in the number 13 spot. Okay, you guys, this is another product that I'm totally in love with. And that is my fast fire wire. I've been selling fire wire, oh man, I don't even know how long, but I, I love these spark plug wires. And I've had so many customers have great success with them. I, I think one of my favorites was when they first told me about these wires and we brought them in, uh, I was told that they really cut down on the electronic noise. And I was like, oh, okay, great, fancy words that I can say and have no idea what they mean, right? Well, what it actually meant, it was what was funny is that there was a set of these wires on an engine and the guys had a car on the chassis dyno and they went to clamp the wires in order to get readings from them. And they couldn't get any readings. And what they had to do was pull back the boot and pull back the shield and to get deeper into the wires in order to be able to get any readings. It was at that moment that I realized that's what they mean by um, cutting out the electronic noise. Nothing gets in, nothing gets out. You get a nice clean spark. Uh, so great, great set of wires. Uh, love our fast fire wire. It does come with a coil wire. 
So you can use these for a 602 or a 604. Uh, obviously, if you're running an HEI, you don't need the coil wire. It's just going to be extra pieces. <laughs> but for everybody else, you've got the coil wire right there, and you don't have to worry about buying that separately. And this whole set runs $159.99, and that's in the 13, number 13 spot right there. All right, next up, number 12. What do we got here? Number 12 is our Walker air filter cleaning kit. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to, you know, spoiler alert, we're going to be talking about Walker filters. Um, but the cleaning kit has been really popular. This cleaning kit comes with a cleaner as well as an oil for your um, for your for your car for your uh walker air filter and so the walker i really like they just kind of redesigned the box i think i've got some of the old style boxes left um here and there but i really like the new redesign on here we we love working with walker and this walker air filter cleaning kit runs 36 dollars all righty next up we are almost halfway through and in the number 11 spot oh okay this is this is a fun one all right so from our friends at dayton lamina is day lube and day lube is a nano ceramic grease works for anywhere you would want grease um you can use it in a tube right here you can use it as a jar um or you know one of the most popular ways now is the syringes because this allows you to precision grease your bearings so you really don't want your bearings um, anymore to be just absolutely drowning in grease because all that grease in there, it just, it doesn't do you any favors. In fact, there's probably a video um, probably on my Daylube section of the website that probably talks about that. But a lot of folks are greasing like every other, um, every other spot on a bearing because you just want enough grease. And if you've got a good lubricating grease, you really don't have to slather it and, and drown it. Now, not only is this good for greasing wheel bearings, it's pretty much anywhere you'd want to use grease, but it also works really well for gun slides. I mean, totally off topic, totally different deal, but it works really good for gun slides as well. So uh, I, I started to sell it to the gun community quite a bit. <laughs> and our day lube, it runs $16.99 for a syringe up to $45.79 for either the tube or the jar. These are both 16 ounces. This is a one ounce syringe. So you can pick any from any of those in the day lube family all right so we were halfway we got 10 to go i'm going to see if anybody has any questions or comments um here i see mikey is here and dave um and feel free oh and it's great ron says best tool ever talking about the valve spring changer so love getting the feedback lots of hap um, happy new years and man i'm really so excited about starting off 2021 really am i think it's going to be a great year ahead so all right all right, we got 10 to go. All right, well, I didn't even bring this one. I'm just going to talk about it. And that is in the number 10 spot is our ProFab Dirt Late Model headers for the 604. And they're stainless steel. They're beautiful, complete set from all the way from the from the flange all the way to having the mufflers and and collars, all of that stuff, a whole complete set right there. And it runs 1848. Normally I would show a picture, but I guess I got a little off track and there we go so in the number 10 spot but we you know we really do we've had great success our customers have had wonderful success with the profab headers we've worked closely with their team for a few years now and we're very happy with the progress that they've they've made there all right next up in the number nine spot is from our friends at daytona one and that is going to be our 3060 gear oil now the 3060 gear oil is fantastic for quick change rear ends it really cools them down. You know, you just don't have the heat. I know there's some guys that actually change their gears barehanded. I think uh, Alex on the other side might be one of them. Um, would, would that be true, Alex? Uh, Changing your gears barehanded with the... Oh, yeah, I do that. Yeah, all the time. So the, it really, really cools it down, and that's pretty unimaginable with, uh, with most people that have seen how hot that there's, these gears can get in a rear end. And with this 3060 gear oil, it really cuts down on the parasitic drag and really, um, it just makes it so it's a lot smoother for your car and also keeping the temperatures down, which is always clutch. You know, we're always trying to, trying to keep those temperatures down, trying to keep things flowing as freely as possible. Again, once, anytime we can free up these cars, we're gonna get better performance. So the 3060 gear oil, this gallon right here, it runs 74.19. You can also buy it by the quart um, and that runs 22.08. 
it has great lasting ability so it's it's not one of these things that you have to change like every race or anything there are some guys that run that through the whole season or if they're racing a lot of races maybe even half a season but you're not having to change your gear oil all the time so really really makes it nice all right next up in the number eight spot is our daytona one xl1 engine treatment now again this is one of my personal favorites as well because i do use it in my personal car uh, in my personal car it saves on gas mileage because it's cutting down in friction it's cutting down on heat it's making everything smoother to run but in a race car what it's going to do it's not going to save you gas mileage not not going to do that but it will free up more horsepower because it is cooler you don't have all the drag in the engine and this will bind at a molecular level with any of the ferrous metals. So when I think of iron and I think of iron and how it can have uh, like little shards of, you know, that are sharp that can catch on things. Well, this smooths out at the molecular level, making a smoother, slicker surface. And anytime you have a smoother, slicker surface, you're going to have less drag. And with less drag, you're going to free up more horsepower. And you're going to keep your temperatures down as well. So this is used as an, as an engine additive, an oil additive. And you would use this in addition to the oil that you have in your when you're doing an oil change. Super simple to use. So the XL1 engine treatment, this is the small one. This one runs $24.95. This would be good for one oil change. Or we have the larger bottle, which is 72 ounces, which is roughly, uh, well, four and a half, five of these. And it runs $84.95. And so that's a much better value. But if you're just getting started or you want this measured out really easily, this is a great way to go is the 16 ounce uh, Daytona 1 XL1 engine treatment. All right, next up in the number seven spot is from our friends at Schaefer's. And it's our Schaefer's 1030 right here, our 1030 oil. And we sell this by the quart. We sell it by the case. We sell it in oil change kits where we have um, seven quarts of oil with an oil filter. And yes, we use seven quarts. I answered that question the other day. Even though we've got an eight quart oil pan in these crate engines, we want to use seven quarts of oil. We just don't need that eighth quart of oil to create more drag in our system. So nice little tech tip there, regardless of which oil you choose. But we've had great, um, great success with our Schaefer's oil. And at the quart price, this runs 10.06 a quart. And it's the same price. I, I do the same price, whether you're buying it by the quart, by the case, by the oil change, it's just those added up. And I just try to make it simple. I'd rather get you exactly what you want in the quantities that you want. So I just keep the price the same. So our Schaefer oil, uh, $10.06 a quart. All right, next up in the number six spot is another oil. And that's our Klotz oil. This is our Klotz. This is a 1040. Again, we've had excellent success with this oil as well. Um, it is a very good quality oil, 100% synthetic. And this one runs 1540. Um, you know, your performance will vary depending on, you know, different engines and different setups and all of that. Um, but we've had success with both of these oils. So the Klotz 1040 at 1540 a quart. All right. And oh, my goodness, we're down to the top five. We're down to the regular top five Tuesday, guys. Um, <laughs> I didn't know how long this would take here. So in the number five spot is our NGK spark plugs. So our NGK spark plugs our most popular spark plugs. We've had excellent success with regardless of what kind of fuel you're running, and these can work in a 602 and a 604, and just great performance all the way around. I know that other there are other spark plugs out there, but some of them are so incredibly sensitive. If you're running this fuel or, or it's this temperature or whatever, you may or may not get the best performance from those plugs. So our go-to is the NGKs. We also sell the auto lights, but our go-to is definitely the NGKs and very reasonably priced as well. These run $22.32 for a set of eight. Um, that's because that's how we sell them is sets of eight. And that's in the number five spot. All right. Well, I did give you the little spoiler alert preview and in the number four spot, I'm not going to take this out. You guys know what an air filter looks like is our Walker air filter. So this is an oiled filter. It comes pre-oiled. You can get it in a three inch or a four inch. I mean, at this very moment, I'm out of four inch filters, but this is a three inch. Now, even our three inch filter though, it, this has so much urethane that's built into this filter and gives an excellent seal, a really great seal. That's one of the reasons why we like it. But the actual, when we say three inch, we mean the part of the filter that's actually the filter part. 
So this filter itself ends up being about three and a half, four inches um, tall it, it, that urethane just adds so much to it. So our three inch Walker air filter, either one of our air filters, these run $99. And this is in the number four spot. Okay, reminder, drop in a comment so that you can get a chance to win one of our prizes. Um, in the number three spot today is our Crate Insider flat air filter lid. Now, we have these both as a black as well as a mill finish. So either, either of these. Um, I personally prefer the powder coated black. Um, it's, it's a little bit stronger. It's amazing what that powder coat can do as far as making it stronger and and I, I just like that. It just dents less, really, really good. So that flat um, flat lid right here, it run, this one runs 78.50 as for our Crate Insider flat air filter lid. In the number two spot this week is, or this year I should say, is our 602 matched valve springs. My goodness, we have been through a lot of valve springs this year. <laughs> but our 602 matched valve springs are so incredibly popular. As I mentioned earlier, these are genuine GM valve springs. And the only difference is we go through them and make sure that you're getting the best quality that you can that you can get from your GM valve spring. Um, you know, there can be quite a bit of difference between one spring and the next, and we just take that guesswork out of it for you by unwrapping all of these, going through, rating them by hand, um, and, and just having them, you know, all dialed in, ready to go for you, and you don't have to worry about putting on a bum spring onto your engine. And these 602 match springs, they run 109.75. So now we're working up to the top spot, and um, I'm gonna have Alex go ahead and pick a couple of names. And so if you haven't made a comment, definitely jump in there and put a comment in really quick and Alex is gonna pick somebody because what I wanna tell you is that one of our winners today is going to go home with this and that is our top product of 2020. It is our Crate Insider flat air filter base, one of our most popular products that we've ever sold. And um, I particularly, again, really love the powder coated version. I have the mill finish as well. I'll give you the choice. If you're the winner, I'll give you the choice on which one you would prefer. But our Crate Insider flat air filter base, you know, you're not gonna find where you can get um, horsepower gains from just a product, but this is one of them that you can, um, and not a lot of money because this runs 109.50. And, you know, you're not going to find like even one horsepower for a hundred bucks anywhere. So we found great success with both horsepower and with torque, picking that up with our Crate Insider flat air filter base. We've used them all over the country with all kinds of different air filters. Of course, we prefer our walkers, but they can also be used with any of the Wix filters or, or even the Napa filters. If you like to go with the disposable route, Totally great, absolutely. And definitely check out that video. So with that, oh gosh, um, Alex just handed me the winners. And our first one, the winner of our Crate Insider shirt is gonna be Dave Sherwood. So Dave, if you would, please send Crate Insider a private message with your address. And if you, and also let me know your shirt size because I may have this shirt in another size for you, you're actually your size. And for the base, for our big winner for today is Mike Anderson. So Mike, if you would, also send us a private message to Crate Insider and we will be happy to send that out for you. Very excited to be able to offer that today. And you know, it's 2020, it was 2020. Um, but I have to say that there was so much growth that happened for this company, for Crate Insider and all of the projects that I work on. And I'm just looking forward to 2021, taking that to the next level and even being better. So I want to thank you for being here and thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being part of the show. Thank you for being part of Crate Insider. And I will look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at two o'clock. We'll be back to top five Tuesday. I hope you have a fantastic week.